Let me get a, uh, um. Spit it out, man. Let me, can I get a, uh, kids mm. combo? <laughs> it's ages 12 and under, you dumbass. Uh, did you just hear that? <laughs> oh, Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with Tyler Funk. Austin George. And today we are going to hit you guys with a Kane's mukbang. It's currently 12 a.m. On, <laughs> on the dot. We were like, yo, mukbang tonight. Let's no. just do rock, paper, scissors over who gets like to drive Austin's car. Damn, bro, just took out his hands. Shaka, 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 shaka. Stop. Stop. Oh, ow! 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 So we're at Kane's. We gotta get something interesting. The sandwich combo and then two Kaniacs, you yep. said? Yep. What's on there though? Like, what's something that you don't expect to get at Kane's? The sandwich is low key something you don't expect to get. Um, no, that'll be up Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What did y'all just order? Yeah, wait, um, do you want anything specific? Let me get a, uh, um. Spit it out, man. Let me, can I get a, uh, kids combo? <laughs> it's ages 12 and under, you dumbass. Uh, can, did you just hear that? Okay. I'm sorry, you have to be at least, uh, 10 and over. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, we can get the kids combo? <laughs> no, I'm just playing with you guys. Oh, dang! <laughs> oh, damn. Wait, so I can get the kids combo? Yeah, you can. <laughs> Matter of oh. fact, scratch that kid's combo. Oh my god. Oh, cute ass cups, bro. Oh, Dude, look your ass up. Snoopy <laughs> cups, bro. What Let's you talking go. about? Be careful with that. It's gonna fall through the bottom. Be careful with that. Shut the fuck up. Bad. Damn, this smells mad fucking yeah, good, I'm bro. Come, man. Yeah, I'm about I'm to come. No. You know what I mean? Like, when I'm. We out back home. Let's get it. Yo, guys, quick break from the video. I would really appreciate it if you could drop a like right now. It does help out the channel a bunch. I try to push quality content and only quality content, and I've been working really hard to double upload. So I would really appreciate it if you would just drop a like right now. We can't get back into the video until you do. So I'm just going to wait here for you to pr press that like button. And yes. There will be some casualties. Yes, there will. Okay. Tyler, what's the vibes? Yeah, I think it's like. Wait, let's get right back into the video. Oh my gosh, this is yeah. insane. What so all do we have? This so, is yeah. right here. We have this. The sandwich combo. Chicken oh my tender. gosh, that's insane. Chicken tender sandwich combo thingy. Oh, that looks delicious, man. And then Austin got a three finger and then two six fingers. So Y'all already got into it, bro. Mm. Dude, shit literally squirts when I do Yeah, it. yeah, literally. Like, it squirted in my mouth. Oh, questions? Yeah. How did you guys meet? That's actually oh, a good ass question. So, Tyler and I met at a New York meetup in December 2019. We didn't really know each other that meetup. Yeah. But then... For the next. That was the first Nef. time we oh met. Oh my god, that was the first time we met. We met at the Airbnb, and like, Marco and I slept in the same room. There was like a bed on one side and a bed on the other side. I didn't even fucking know the guy, and I was sleeping in the same room with him. Even since the start. Mm-hmm. We were kind of sleeping together. Pretty legendary, if you ask me. <laughs> so then, I met Austin over Discord because I was friends with Lewis. I got cute ankles. And while we played on Warzone, he would invite Austin to the squad and the Discord. I just like got to know Austin. If you guys go to any of my Warzone videos or the Texas vlogs, that was like a start of our knowing each other. We like, kind of just went dark for like hella long. I was still calling him during like the NAF and stuff. Yeah. Like, we were like distant friends. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I'd be in the same state as Marco, somehow we would hang out. He slept over at my New York City house. Yeah. Oh, so I went to New York for a music thing. Yeah. And I was like, yo, Marco's in New York right now. So I went with Marco. So lit. We link like three times a year, like in different states every time. Yeah, how did you like just call him and let him know? I always I remember I try to get him into the NAF. Hmm. Right. Yo, like wait. Remember you he did? Broke, he was like, I brought him to the crib, and I was like, if a spot opens up, mm, that's true. Yeah, like bro, no you way. gotta be in it. You gotta be in it. But like nothing really opened up. Like that natural feeling wasn't right. Like there wasn't a natural feeling for an extra person. Oh, that's lit. So like it just didn't happen. He was just so perfect when I thought like yeah. of a new roommate. I was like, just needs to be in LA. He's doing his music thing, so it's gonna be separate. He's gonna be on his own like driven stuff. That's crazy. That's Dude, lit as fuck. You just yep. fucking moved in. As soon as he called me, I was uh, signing my deal. Bro was low-key on like an instant yes. Yeah. Like, he, like the like, first FaceTime, he was like, oh yeah. Like, that's kind <laughs> yeah, of crazy, crazy like, bro. Yeah, it's like this. Like, when he called me, I was in LA, but I was leaving my flight the next day. Perfect timing, because I yeah. signed my deal. 
And then I was like, all right, well, this is it, do or die. That's, That's such an so epic story. Yeah, yeah. How we all came from different things to just be in this video right now. Yeah. Like maybe like I would have joined the NAF and then I'd never even like focus on my music. And maybe just, like you would have joined the NAF and we would have got annoyed that you weren't like, didn't have the same vision as all of us. Oh, mm -hmm. and then we could like music. And then we wouldn't have moved in with him. Yeah, exactly. With the NAF, we kind of all sacrificed our own things to Definitely. just for the team, Definitely. you know? Like we dropped, everyone dropped everything except for like- I even dropped school. That's insane. Cause some people just will watch and be like, oh, cool videos. But right. for us it was like, <gasps> so deep. Like, oh, we gotta upload like, we gotta upload tomorrow. Okay, it's too much. Let's Playing day every today. other day. Yeah. That's how you be great though. All right, chicken, chicken, fuck, raising chicken, chicken. This is off topic, but remember the lucid dream thing? Oh yeah. Okay, so me and Marco the other night, late at night, we were talking as two teen males do in their underwear, and Marco was telling me about his lucid dreams. And I was like, that's crazy, because I've never lucid dreamed before. Yeah. And he was like, yo, the next time you feel your consciousness, look at your hands or something, like, because I was about to go to sleep. Wait, that Wait. worked? Oh like, my god, that's lit! Yeah, that's yeah, I, was like, I, was like, I was like, the next time you feel your consciousness, like, dude, Wait, like this is like dream? some otherworldly shit. Like, this is like Love. gaining control of your consciousness is so like, insane. When you feel alive in your dream? <clears throat> when you feel consciousness. You're just, just the conscious. next time you feel something, because you because kind of forget right away when you have a dream. When you feel your consciousness? That's like hyper-awareness of yourself in a dream. You're I don't even think about, like, remembering a dream after you wake up is like your consciousness, basically. Yeah, like it's like that recorded on the hippocampus. Yeah. Because so, like, you can right? picture your dreams. Like you, when, right when you wake up, if you remember a dream, you picture everything you just saw for like like 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Not even. I was gonna say that quicker than that. Like literally, like it's sometimes like a minute or two for me that I'll see like oh my god, like I can see it all, picture it all when I think about it, and like replay the whole thing. Writing about them is like the mm -hmm. key, bro. I went to sleep. And then oh, all of a sudden, I felt I'm my consciousness, and I was like on a basketball court, and my instinct, I was like. This doesn't look right. Yeah, that's literally how it feels. I looked at it in my hands and I was like, "This is a dream right now." I had complete control of what I was doing. You couldn't, you couldn't like change the the dream episode. Exactly, you can't. Tra Bro, whatever, I that, said that whatever that exact episode is, same if it's thing. The, if it's the episode finale or if it's yeah, the one you get your heart broken, you can't change what happened change. Like the setting of the episode. But I could control myself, so I was like doing what I wanted to do inside. Oh my god, like, have you ever had that? I have had that once. Bro, literally one time I was in this post apocalyptic world. I then looked at my hands and I was like, oh my god, like, let me try to fly. Cause I always heard you can fly <laughs> in lucid right. dreams. So I kept going like, oh, uh, uh, and I couldn't go up. And I was right. like, so that's kind of weird. Like, right. I can't fly my own dream. I once had one. It was me and Drake walking near sand dunes and the secret service was like following us. And then we go on. And it's just like a bunch of like cranes moving a bunch of porta potties, like really colorful porta potties. Insane, bro. And then I keep walking. Well, I go pee. Yeah. It's like so, some families start showing up, and then I go pee. And then I keep walking after the pee. And I reach like one of those things where it lets you like fall down, and it's like a bunch of rubber bands. And you'd like fall through the rubber bands, but like safely. But some of them didn't have the rubber bands. So some kids would just fall and kind of splat. And I was like, holy shit, bro. I keep walking through the sand, and I reach my family, and I'm naked. Like I'm butt naked right. in like this beach type setting and I'm like walking around my family I'm like why is nobody kind of saying anything that I'm butt ass naked mm -hmm. and, and that's when you realize and that's when I realized like oh this is a dream yeah. every time I'm naked in my dream I feel super embarrassed and I'm like I would never logically do that so Let's this must naked, be a yeah. dream longest time lasting in bed when I lost my virginity same oh I was in there for I think it was like 35 40 yeah, minutes you guys are I still didn't know that me neither. Yeah. Like when they say you'll nut quick, like when you fuck for the first time. Yeah, no you no. don't. You're nervous and stuff, so. Mm -hmm. Did you? Did um, you? <laughs> definitely, um. <laughs> you know, I don't know, man. I think probably like 50. <laughs> <laughs> did you? No, I mean, like, like did you not? The <laughs> for real? Yeah, for real. <laughs> Wait, how hasn't he finished his sentence this whole time? You know, I don't know, man. I think probably like. <laughs> did you how? not the first yes. time, bro? Oh. oh, you did? I lasted like. Dude cannot stop minutes. being horny. Dude just has like, unlimited <laughs> access to <laughs> sex. It cannot be. Literally <laughs> cannot Dude, stop thinking about sex. Out of all of you, who would give the best head? Well, not me. To a girl? 
I could get good at no cap. But yeah, it goes by case by case though. Mm hmm Because it's like you're the only one who's judging your own head. Right. Like you wouldn't know. Yeah, unless you gave head to yourself. I always heard you have to remove ribs. Yep. Yeah. Imagine yeah. having a dick just like Most embarrassing childhood story. When I was little, I went down the slide and fell down, but I was so young that all I can feel is like everyone's eyes on me. And then it all goes like black because I get super like anxious mm -hmm. and then just like start crying. Bro. Really? Yeah. Oh, I then also got pants in a recess yard. Oh, that's always embarrassing. That's fucking embarrassing, dog. <laughs> Minus. We do not care. Oh my God, wait, one of the most disgusting stories, it was like reading time, the guy next to me, and he just gets up and goes like, <laughs> <laughs> just like vomits and it goes like and it goes squirts out of his mouth and goes all on the floor and I'm like holy fucking shit this shit is insane and all the kids are like oh <laughs> like you know how kids make mad sound effects and everyone like evacuates the like, classroom because it just stinks so bad I'm trying to think if I had like if I like shit myself or something. I think too cool. I think Yeah, man, I had to think about if I, I had to shit myself or something. I'm, like I had like weird moments, but I don't know if I was like embarrassing myself in front of everybody. But um I had like a moment in kindergarten. I no, I was in first grade. I had first come to the school. I had first come to the school and then um I came during recess, like I literally enrolled to the school while they were at recess. So I come right out to recess and they're already like playing around their hat, they're like doing tag and shit. <laughs> Dude, the only thing I got out of that was that you came during recess, that's all I fucking heard, man. So as soon as I got to the school in first grade, I went out while they were at recess and there was these kids playing tag. And so I went up to one of the kids I was playing tag and I was like, hey, do you have any grapes? You thought you ate? <laughs> no, actually I said. Do you want to be my friend? And then the kid looked at me and he said, no, we aren't friends with strangers. Damn, that's so cute. awkward as fuck. Like, when it comes down to girls, what is your type? I say that I don't have a type, but it's literally jazz. Really? Like, blonde, brown hair, blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Facts, um, man. Um, go ahead, go ahead, my boy. What's your type? I mean, back when I was in New York, it was like Spanish girls with like, curly hair, mm. but like darker. But now, I don't really care. <clears throat> they're all just like humans, so it's like, yeah, that was, it doesn't really, yeah. there's not, there they wasn't all got like, their own personality. A, like a look archetype that I was actually into more, I realized. Awesome. Um, <laughs> who's the facilitator? You know, <laughs> big booty bitches. Um, <laughs> you know, um, I think my like type is like, first grader that I don't know, my type changes, <laughs> like based on the, these motherfuckers are just talking about their own <laughs> thing. Um, you know, my type is just whatever comes around. You know, I feel like my type like if changes, it comes naturally. I feel like my type changes. Like sometimes I'd be like always deep wanting with brunettes, and sometimes I'd be wanting blondes, and sometimes I don't want either. Sometimes I just want to sleep with Marco at night. So that's, it's just who comes around. I feel like if someone just integrates naturally with your <laughs> life, what are you doing? Why are you yeah, what, like are you, what are you thinking about? Right what now? are you doing like this? Dude's dude, like, 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 I'm telling you, dude. Dude's like this, look. Dude thinks he's like, like Jimmy Fallon. Like that's talking. why he has a girlfriend, bro. Why? Because he's just good at listening. Mm -hmm. Like, he actually turned to like, no, I didn't even give really a fuck to turn. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, give an example. Usually, like when people tell me dates of something, I'll usually forget Birthdays for me too, bro. Definitely. And it's embarrassing because I'll be like, bro, we're good friends, but I just like value other things that are rather than the birthday. Dude, yeah, yeah, birthdays, same. like, I'm the same. Like, even if it's like my close friends, like, sometimes I just be forgetting that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <that's laughs> <you just laughs> yeah, I just can't remember birthdays. I don't even know my own. So it's kind of hard. Damn, that's deep. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he is a fucking dude. dude. He is a dictator of this dude, video. Do you think bro. some people don't know their actual birthday? No, I feel like you are. No, like, you're like, definitely no. <laughs> dude, like, just went, dude, 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 like, shut up. Dude, <laughs> dude, dude is real. literally the host. He's on of a date video. right now. How is he hosting this video? <laughs> he was literally like this with his hand. We gotta turn this shit off. Shut up. up. Man. Shut, shut up. up. <laughs> <laughs> dude's literally a troll. Get fucking spelled on, bitch.
All right, guys, that's been the mukbang. Hope you guys enjoyed. You can find both their links in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. You telling me you came this far and you still haven't subscribed? You got a sub. Let me get a sub, bro. Love you, babe.